You probably know that you're supposed to use a cookie content banner on your site or on your funnels. But if you have no idea how to edit in ClickFunnels 2.0, then this video is for you. As today, I'm going to show you how you can effortlessly create a fully customizable cookie content banner and also add it to ClickFunnels 2.0. But before we get to that, I want to point out that everything that I'm sharing in this video is my personal opinion and in no way professional advice. You should always do your own research, consult certified professionals, draw your own conclusions and make your own decisions. It's especially important when we are talking about things like legal notices or legal policies. The policies are different in different countries and the requirements are also different. That's why you definitely should do your own research as well. All right, let's get started. What we're going to do, we will use a service called IUBanda and then generate a cookie banner and cookie policy and add it to ClickFunnels 2.0. IUBanda provides different solutions to make your site or funnels compliant with the law across multiple countries and legislations. The cookie constant banner is not the only thing that you can create in IUBanda. You can easily generate privacy and cookie policy, terms and conditions, content solutions, CCPA disclosures, internal privacy management documents and so much more. Moreover, the documents that you generate with the help of IUBenda are updated automatically if the law or some regulations change. So, our whole setup is divided in two parts. First, we need to set everything up in IUBenda and then add everything to ClickFunnels 2.0. So, let's start with the setup in IUBenda. For that, you can click the link in the description of this video to create your IUBenda account. If you use the link from the description, so our link, you also will get a 10% discount on your first payment. Log into your account, then go to the dashboard and click Start Generating. Here you will need to enter the URL of your funnel if you want to create the cookie banner only for this funnel or the URL of your site if you want to apply this banner to everything that you have in your workspace. And because I have already everything set up for my workspace in ClickFunnels 2.0, I will not enter my actual domain for this workspace, but I will just use some dummy domain, but we anyway will be able to go over all the steps that I needed to create the cookie banner. Click Next. Select the country where you are based. Select where are your targeted users, worldwide, in your country only or in specific countries. What area of the business you are in. After that, click Solutions and Embedding. What we need right now is Privacy Controls and Cookie Solution. Click Generate now. IBENDA offers really a lot of possibilities how you can customize your cookie banner. It's not just styling and different colors and fonts and so on, but also different legal requirements, as you will see in a few moments. We have already selected these settings, that's why you can just click Confirm and proceed. After that, IUBenda automatically generates compliance settings that it's suggesting you, but you can also adjust them here. For example, if you decide that you also want to add this regulation, you can toggle it on. And after that, click Confirm and Proceed. On this step, you can adjust the look of your cookie banner. We will not go into detail here because it's like any regular editor. You can adjust format, positioning, text, theme and so on. We will just proceed further. In this step, you can either let Ayurbenda to generate the privacy and cookie policy for you or link your own if you already have the text for those policies written for you and you want to use it, or you can skip the step and add it later. We will go with the one generated by Ayurbenda. After that, click Complete the configuration. On this step, you should add the services that you are using on your funnel or on your page. You can either do it manually, for example, choose here from the services that you are using, like Facebook tracking or Google tracking and so on, or you can allow Ayubenda to scan your website and detect the services that you are using and that should be mentioned in privacy policy or cookie policy. Let's pick just one service as an example, Google Tag Manager. click Save Changes. Click Save and Close. And with that we can go to the next step. 
Everything is quite intuitive. You can see here that you should write the name and the full address of the company because it also should be mentioned in the policies and also an email address who is representing the company. After that, click Next. On this step, you can review the privacy policy that IUBandit generated for you. Don't be surprised by the look of my privacy policy because we didn't put a lot of effort into adding all the services, into providing IUBandit with the information that it needs. It's just like brief version because what we are aiming for right now is to add the cookie consent banner. But of course, you should go over every step, add all the services, so you have full cookie policy that is compliant with the regulations. Click next and you can either set up something else or finish the embedding, the setup of the cookie banner that we are using. So as you can see, we've got here the privacy policy, then the cookie policy and a bit lower, we have the banner. So our cookie consent banner. And all we need to do here is to copy this code. So with that, the first part, the setup or the creation of the cookie policy and cookie banner in IUBanda is done. And now we need to go to ClickFunnels 2.0 and finish the setup there. It's important to understand where you have to put this code in ClickFunnels 2.0. Of course, it may change in the future, but right now we have two options. First of all, you can add it to the settings of your whole account of your workspace. And we can do it in the settings of the site. If you go to the site, then overview, then click this icon and go to the site settings. You should add this code in the footer code. As you can see, I already have the code for IUBanda here because, as mentioned, I have it already set up. And then, of course, don't forget to scroll down and update the site. In this case, the banner will appear on your site and also on the funnels that you created in that workspace. Option number two that you have, you may want to add the banner only to the specific funnel. In this case, you will need to go to the funnel. And ClickFunnels 2.0 doesn't have the settings for the funnel as we're used to them in ClickFunnels 1.0. We had the settings for the whole funnel and then we had the section of the body and head tracking code. There is nothing like this in 2.0. That's why if you want to add the cookie banner specifically to one funnel or a page, you will need to go to the settings of each funnel step and add the code there. So we would need to edit the page, then click the code on top, and here, paste the code that we copied from IUBanda. As always, don't forget to save the changes. Let's see how this banner looks. If we preview the page in a private window, we should get the cookie notice that we created. And here it appears. As you may notice, the text of the banner also includes the links, first of all, to our cookie policy. That's why we had to generate it before we got the code for the banner, then the services that we're using and advertising purposes. So that's how easy you can add the cookie consent banner in ClickFunnels 2.0 to your site, to your funnels. And as you saw, you can use IUBanda not just for the cookie banner, but also to generate the actual policies for you. And I believe the only question that is left, how much it costs, how much is IUBanda charging you for that? To be honest, I believe their price is more than fair, especially if you consider how much money you would need to pay to a lawyer to draw the policy for you and also from time to time then to review it and make sure that it stays up to date and it is compliant with all the regulations. Depending on which features you're going to use and also how many licenses you would need, you will pay from $29 per year to $22 per month. And don't forget if you use the link in the description of the video, you will also get a 10% discount on your first payment. That's it for today. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel, enable notifications to not miss out on the future content. See you in other videos. Bye-bye.